Africa means so much to me. Mama Africa means so much to me. Mama Africa means so much to me. Yeah. I could never give up a continent. No way. No way. For only an island. I want to say greetings and welcome to all my black brothers and sisters in Mama Africa and greetings and welcome to all my black brothers and sisters in the diaspora. You know, a, a while ago I just found out, um, well, I heard some very sad, sad, sad news. The great godfather of DJing, Mr. Daddy Uri, has passed away. Um, according to the information I've read on the internet, um, Daddy Uri, he was in hospital. Um, he was having a operation, um, and after the surgery, they said he had five heart attacks. Now, um, I seen Daddy Uri about three times when he came to Birmingham, England. You know, um, when he came to Birmingham, in England, with the Stereograph crew. I knew he was a part of the Stereograph crew at the time. You had Josie Wales, you had Brigadier Jerry, you had General Tree, you had Little John, uh, who else? Charlie Chaplin, Little Twitch. Al Campbell, Sugar Minot, and Yellow Man. These are the artists who uh, who was a part of, well, not even a part of Stereograph, because Stereograph DJs and entertainers, some used to come and go. But at the time when Daddy Uri came to Birmingham, England, these are the artists who was part of the crew at the time, or who passed through. Now, the first time I was aware of um, Daddy Uri is his first album that he recorded for the late and great Mr. Duke Reed at the Treasure Isle studio. He recorded an album and I've still got it on vinyl. It's called Version Galore. Version Galore. That's the first album that he recorded and he recorded that album um, I would say maybe 69, early 70s, around that time anyway. I don't know the dead year, but I know it's late 60s, early 70s. That's the first album. I've, I've even got a copy of that on vinyl. And also as well, two other albums that I've got by him, but I've got them on CD. Natty Rebel and Dreading a Babylon. Natty Rebel and Dreading a Babylon. These two other albums, because they were also on vinyl, um, they were also they were on the Virgin label. Sorry for talking so fast. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. So, you know, my condolences, and um, you know, he had his own sound system, stereograph. You know, um, as I said, um, you know, um, I did talk to him. You know, when he came to Birmingham, because there's a photograph. Of me and Daddy Uri, which you can see now, as my as my thumbnail. That's 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 one of the times when I was talking to him for about maybe five minutes or so. You know, he's a nice man, nice brother, very friendly, no ego, nice, chill, cool brother. You know, still can't believe, sir, Daddy Uri. You know, is no longer with us. But as I said, I was glad I got to see him three times when he came to my city, Birmingham. England. So, um, you know, he's not here in body, um, but the spirit of him will always be here. We've lost so much of our entertainers, artists, Jamaican artists over the years, you know. Um, all I can say to the family, um, Daddy Uri um, family, um, rest in peace. As I said, he, you know, he's been in the sound system business from the 60s, you know, from when he was a youth, but as I said, he first recorded with Duke Creed. Okay, I'm repeating myself, I know. So I just want to say condolence to Daddy Uri um, and his family. He will 
definitely be missed. So, Daddy Uri, the great Daddy Uri, all I can say, brethren, godfather, grandfather, rest in power. Okay, I am out of here.